Hey you guys, Travis here with another episode of Penguin Philosophy Let's Talk. We got an email from Dan in Windsor, Ontario. Dan says, Scientists are so conflicted about the existence of Jesus. The Bible is a historical document and if Jesus was real, then all of Christianity is true as God cannot lie. Alrighty, so first off, scientists are so conflicted about the existence of Jesus. I would say that most historians think that it's quite possible that a person named Jesus did exist. Not sure when or even where, but uh, it is possible that a person by the name of Jesus did exist. I wouldn't say it is a conflict among scientists. As far as I know, it's not a, a question that scientists tend to spend a lot of time on. The Bible is a historical document. Now, if by historical, Dan means of or concerning history, concerning past events, uh, I'm going to have to take issue with that claim. If someone writes a book that speaks of past events, but we don't have any evidence to back up those claims, we don't automatically just believe what the book says about those past events. We look for things to try and verify that claim, like artifacts, architecture, something tangible that we can look at and say, hey, there's some evidence that the claim being made in this book might actually be accurate. So far, the Bible is just as much a historical document than the night before Christmas is. The accounts in the night before Christmas are not literally true um, because we don't have any evidence to tell us otherwise. And this rule applies to the Bible as well. I'm not going to go through every instance in the Bible where it makes claims that we don't have evidence for, because that would take a long time. Um, but just because the Bible says something about history does not mean that that is actually historical. And then Dan goes on to say, if Jesus was real, then all of Christianity is true, as God cannot lie. So there's a whole lot to discuss about this. If Jesus was real, that doesn't mean anything. It only means that someone by the name of Jesus existed. It doesn't mean that he could perform miracles, rose from the dead, or any of the claims that are made about Jesus in the Bible. You need to address each claim on their own and see if there's evidence for the claims that are being made. Dan says, and if Jesus was real, then all of Christianity is true as God cannot lie. So, if Jesus was real, then all of Christianity is true. I've just explained how if Jesus was real, that only means that Jesus was real. It doesn't verify all of the other claims that are being made. And this kind of ties into uh, when people try to put creation up against evolution. If for some reason we found enough evidence to suggest that evolution never occurred or took place, it doesn't mean that creation myths win. That It's not one versus the other. You have to replace the theory of evolution with something that works with the evidence that is available. And this is actually a common problem while thinking about this issue for a lot of people. Um, they want to defend their God belief or their creation myth and they try to poke holes in, in evolution and they think that's getting them closer um, uh, to truth within their, their myth and, and their religious belief, but it's not at all. Um, science tries to poke holes in these theories. That's, that's the best thing about science, is we are trying to falsify the claims that are being made by science so that we can have the best possible answer based on the evidence that is available to us at the time. Science follows where the evidence leads. And then Dan finishes off his uh, claim by saying, as God cannot lie. First of all, no God claim has met their burden of proof um, to prove the existence of any gods. So. I would need to know from Dan uh, what he means by God. Um, then we could have a have a conversation 
of what he means when he says God, because there's so many definitions for God. Um, and he also claims to know that God cannot lie. So it would be interesting to see where Dan is getting that information. Um, but if he's basing that information uh, on the Bible, then, which it sounds like he probably is, then, I mean, uh, I've already stated that just because something's written down in a, a book, it doesn't mean it's true or it happened or anything it says about God is true. You have to understand that the Bible was written by human beings who claim to be inspired by God. So when you throw in your lot with the people who wrote the Bible, you're putting a lot of trust in the signals they thought that they were receiving from a God when they were writing down this book. And I always ask people, why are they so quick to trust the word of the people who wrote down this book? Why are they so certain that they weren't hallucinating or these just weren't ideas that were coming to them and that there was no divine inspiration at all? Dan, you've made a lot of claims here that aren't currently verified by science. So if this does mean a lot to you, I suggest doing some more research and seeing if there is actually anything to these claims or if um, they're more based on wishful thinking and, and trusting what's written down in a divinely inspired book. And another thing, Dan, I hope you cherry pick your Bible and leave the bad things out of your worldview, um, such as condoning slavery, genocide, putting homosexuals to death. Just leave the bad stuff out and let science tell you what's reasonable. Well, that's my response to Dan. If you have a question, please email us at admin at penguinphilosophy.com or if you have a claim to make, we would love to address it on this channel. And make sure you subscribe. Thanks for watching.